one thinks of the real home of Bourneville, has got to be the Royal Danish Ballet and always got to be. Sure, absolutely. Yes. How else do you see the company developing? Well, I've been, I think I've been quite conservative in a way that when I came to the company, they could do many things and they did. I wanted more classical repertory, a stricter classical backbone. Do you feel the balance is right? The right number of performances versus the right amount of rehearsal time? I would like to do more performances. You would? Yeah, for the company. The, that's, the only, that's the only way a company can develop. Right, absolutely. It is on stage. I mean, you can be in the studio rehearsing until you're blue in the face, but it is on stage that it happens. It's on stage that you as a dancer gets the experience, and it's also on stage that you you find out about yourself and your craft, and that's where you really discover your art form. And that's also, of course, where the audience sees the fruit of, of, of all your work. It's something that you don't really think about until you're directing a company. But it's very hard to balance what a company dances. Too much of one style will affect the other. You keep class simple yes. and uh, basic, because that's really the foundation of everything. Absolutely. When you come to, to New York, how long is it since the Royal Danish Ballet has been here? I think it's been 22 or 23 years since, since the company's been here. How many do you have altogether in the company? Uh, there are 95 dancers in the company. 95, wow. And when you come on tour, will most of those be coming? Not all, but, but most. Let's talk a little bit about this tour. So you start where and when? We start in Orange County, California, and then we go up to Berkeley. We're a week in, in each city, and then we cross the country to go to D.C. for a week at Kennedy Center, and then we come to the David Koch Theater. In June. In June.